Hey crime junkies, my name is Sarah Levy McLeod and I live here in freezing cold but beautifully sunny Halifax, Nova Scotia, Canada. This is where this week's episode on Holly Bartlett takes place. When Ashley and I were talking about this episode, one of the things we just kept coming back to was the geography and how important it is to understand the location, you know, where Holly lived, where she was found. Those things are really critically important to understanding the story. Okay, so I'm gonna start by walking up the street towards Holly's condo building. This is the circular driveway where the taxi driver said he dropped her off and also where he said he saw her fall. And this is the front door and this is where he said he stopped and Holly got out the driver's side and headed in this direction. So then the story changes. He says that she tripped and fell. Then police say that disoriented, she started to walk down this kind of parking lot driveway. The other thing, there's like loud traffic running right in front of me coming off the McKay Bridge. Police said Holly came down her driveway and took a right onto Northridge Road. That's what I'm walking right now. Traffic sounds are getting even louder. I totally can appreciate where Peter Parsons, the mobility specialist, what he was talking about when he said there's no way she would have thought she was anywhere else. All right, so we're at the end of Northridge Road. So right in front of me is the Kencrest building. So the police's theory is that Holly came down here fell down this way, went through a hole in the fence, and then walked somewhere along here. The second fence that you can see in there, that wasn't there at the time. She walked and stumbled and fell, quite disoriented, ended up in here, where she crawled up the side of this abutment, thinking it was a trail, and fell off the end. She was found somewhere right around here. Tom Martin, the PI who investigated in 2018, his theory was that something happened up here between Holly and the taxi driver and she bolted out of the cab in this direction. PI's theory is that Holly fell down the embankment here behind Kencrest and the only reason she was found here was because that's how far she made it with the injuries she had sustained in the fall. He doesn't think she went up the side of this abutment the way police do. She just happened to be found in this area. What's in dispute in this case isn't whether Holly's death was an accident. The police and the PI, everyone who's investigated this case has come to that same conclusion. Question is, what happened? And what role, if any, did the taxi driver play? So what do you think? Was there a confrontation between Holly and the taxi driver? One that caused her to bolt out and fall down the embankment behind Kencrest? Or was he telling the truth? Did he walk her off at the front door? Let us know what you think.